save our planet, oceans suffocating due to climate change. According to a new study published in Science magazine, the Earth's seas are fast on their way to becoming oversaturated with human-caused greenhouse gases. The study highlighted a spectrum of factors whose impact has grown especially in the past decade. Rapid warming, changing current patterns and spreading dead zones, all of which are causing marine ecosystems to decline. Lead author Professor Ove Haig Goldberg, director of the Global Change Institute at Australia's University of Queensland, compared the ocean's current absorption of excessive quantities of atmospheric CO2 to human lungs being filled with cigarette smoke, which has made the water increasingly toxic and acidic. A recently premiered documentary from the Netherlands titled See the Truth also examines the ocean's plight, with experts like Dutch marine biologist Marianne van Mierlo observing the range of alarming phenomenon. The acidification of the ocean is because of the carbon dioxide, uh, the, the extensive um, carbon dioxide production of um, the, the humans. It gets into the oceans and there it's um, because the oceans get acid from it, uh, the calcification rates of all uh, organisms that produce um, calcite uh, skeletons that really decreases. They can't make their shells anymore and um, it's really dangerous for, for example, corals, um, shellfish, uh, yeah, also phytoplankton, zooplankton. As the new research confirmed, marine ecosystems are being driven to a tipping point, with danger signs already observed in the form of smaller and fewer fish, as well as more frequent diseases in underwater organisms. According to many ocean scientists, including Miss Van Mierlo and others featured in See the Truth, one important solution, apart from reducing CO2 emissions, is halting fish consumption. These ocean inhabitants contribute to the balance of marine environments and thus are needed for their preservation. Fish excrete calcium carbonate lumps, which are buffering the ocean acidification, uh, which is really important, so it's also important to stop overfishing. Totally, we should stop eating fish now and um, it is so important to keep our oceans healthy and we've already gone way too far in uh, exploiting them. Our thanks Ms. Van Mierlo, Professor Hay Goldberg and Associates for providing the facts and warnings from the seas. May we join hands in rescuing and restoring the oceans by adopting a meat and fish-free diet that saves all lives. I am Marianne van Mierlo. Wees vegetarian, ga voor groen and red the planet. Be veg, go green and save the planet. Supreme Master Ching Hai has frequently spoken of how our lifestyles can affect the marine ecosystems, as in an interview published in the September 2009 edition of the British Parliament's The House magazine. No matter how small each species has a role to help balance our ecosystem, scientifically proven. And yet, consumption of both fish and animal flesh continue and are wreaking havoc on biodiversity around the globe. In the oceans and fresh waterways, so many species of fish have already been lost. With complete aquatic environments, such as coral reefs, being decimated by such practices as trawling and fishing with explosives. The answer to all this is quite clear. Stop the meat consumption. Stop it yesterday. This is the way we need to go and fast.